Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to be going over my top five garage sale finds of 2023. Without further ado, let's start. Uh Number five, PlayStation Mega Hall. In this video, I covered a PlayStation buy that consisted of PS3 consoles, a bunch of PS3, PS2 games. Some of the games that were in this find were armored core games, higher end video game stuff that sells for like 50 to 100, even $150, just depends on what's there. I bought the whole buy for $100, definitely an amazing buy. PlayStation is definitely a brand to look out for for video game stuff, but it just depends on what's there. Another game that I found was Spider Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions, and that's like a super expensive game because mine was the Walmart exclusive. That find was just a gold mine, and I added a ton of games to my collection. Actually, all, all the Armored Core games went to my collection. Spider-Man went to my collection. So overall, that was another reason why that was my number five. Number four. 100 plus video game find with a hidden bolo. That find was amazing. I mean, the contents weren't incredible. I mean, there was a bunch of shovelware in there, but for the price I got it for was amazing. So 100 plus video games for $50. And then I got a console, Xbox 360, and I think like some Xbox One accessories for an additional 20. So $70 all in on that find, incredible. And on top of that, I found a hidden bolo I had no idea about. For a couple bucks, I bought Reef Point book. Reef Point books are a bolo to be on the lookout for. I sold two out of the three that I found for over $50. I have one left over the $50 range. Incredible find at this garage sale and I had missed something prior that morning. I think it was like a Nintendo or something, but I did not give up and I kept going and I found this amazing find. So that's why that's my number four. Money, 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 money. Number three. Three is the finding tons of bolo video. So on that video, I found tons of bolos. It was ridiculous. I found the fusion radio covered in my previous video for eBay sales. Also a Yankee starter jacket. I found like for $3, it was ridiculous. And I ended up selling it for 80. Also, there was an estate sale find in that video, $70 Bible and also Texas star radio that I think I bought for 80 and flipped for like 200. Definitely, if you are interested in seeing some of those items, check out that video. I learned so much from that pickup and I did not know Bibles could be that expensive. I did not know this brand of radio can be that expensive. So definitely a learning experience. That's why it's my number three. I gotta have more. Number two. It's a split choice between the two videos. Number one was the Lord of the Rings find. Went to a garage sale and they had a bunch of Lord of the Rings swords and a Game Boy also. For all the swords and the Game Boy, I paid $155, I believe. The swords were like over $1,000 in sales. The Game Boy sold for like $50. I learned so much from this. The United Cutlery is definitely something to be on the lookout for, which most of the swords were. I had no idea the value of these swords. The second part of my number two, jackpot drive one hour find video. Now this one, I did drive an hour out and I was just a complete gamble. I had no idea if I was gonna find anything. I knew it was a community sale, but sometimes when you go to community sales, it's like a couple houses. This one was actually, there was a lot of participants here. So it ended up paying off. And in one sale, I found a bunch of PlayStation games, I think for $20. And another sale is where I found a Jackpot Inc, Disney pins, Disney memorabilia, concert t-shirts that I made tons of money on. Had I not drove an hour and did that experience, I wouldn't have had these sales, which is amazing what I could have missed out on. So definitely might venture out more next year and drive you know to certain cities i've never been to just to test the waters and see how i do definitely a learning experience and that's why that's my number two because i had no idea i was gonna even find anything driving now an hour of course i have two honorable mentions i have to cover before i go to my number one first honorable mention is the all free video so I did get a bunch of cases and accessories for free at a garage sale and I made an incredible profit off of it. I did find some lunar items and I found empty cases, made tons of money on the empty cases. And it was from a reseller that was closing her business. She did like swap meets, but she broke up with her husband or something like that. And she wanted just to get rid of this stuff and she gave this to us for free. Sometimes when you go to a reseller's garage sale, you don't want to go because you know the prices are going to be all there. But sometimes, like in scenarios like this, it's actually worth going to. Prior to going to the sale, I did not know this was a reseller and I did not know she was gonna quit reselling. This was like a gamble and it ended up paying off. 
Second honorable mention was 3DS XL Find. This one I found with a bunch of Funko Pops, Star Wars figures, an incredible buy. Spent $160 for everything, including the 3DS XL. Had the 3DS XL priced at about $10, which is insane. Since then, I've completed in box. I even made a video about it. Super happy to add that to my collection and also learned a lot about Funko Pops in this buy. And that's why that's an honorable mention. I like money. Number one. You guys probably knew it, the GameCube Mega Haul. This one was just an incredible find. A struck of luck, I've never get this lucky anymore. I walked up to the sale, asked him if he had any video game stuff. He started pulling out tons of stuff, GameCube included, PlayStation, and I ended up buying everything for $100. I even made a short about it. Such an incredible buy. A lot of this I sold actually at Collecticon and also SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Just goes to show you guys, there is video game finds out there. There is other bolos to be found out there. Sometimes you just gotta ask. I do wanna mention that there is a bunch of other people doing the same thing. There is a bunch of people, other people asking for video games, asking for bolos, like vintage t-shirts, vintage toys. So it's not like every time you're gonna go and you're gonna find something. The common answer you might get is someone already asked or some I already sold it sorry but you have to go through those no's to get to the yeses this one right here I got very lucky it was one of the first sales I hit everything was a check mark in that video it was just an incredible day of fines and that's why that's my number one holy smokes anyways guys let me know if you agree in the comments below my top five and also let me know if you have bolos that I didn't mention in this video or maybe some incredible finds that you found this year I definitely want to know Share below and I'll be reading. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos and follow my Instagram at Grimsy Raider. Thanks for watching and we'll see what I find next. Thanks guys.